not good. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this one, we are going to talk about a firm, uh, which is a company that we cover here on the channel when they went public. And I told you guys what I thought about the company, um, if I was going to be investing in the company or not. So that was a while back. I think that was last year. We talked about it. I covered the IPO here on the channel. And so there's been some major news uh, on the company. And I want us to talk about that. Uh, but before we get to the guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, again, Affirm is a company that um, is actually involved in the financial space for buy now pay later so they when they went public you know they kind of introduced themselves as the leader in that space and i did the video here told you guys my perspective on uh, the buy now pay later which i said uh if you guys watch that video i can hook it up here on the youtube card so you guys can go check it out i said i'm not a big fan of borrowing so if if i have to unless it's an emergency when then i would have to get into debt for that but otherwise I'm not going to borrow to buy a couch, to buy a TV, to buy a phone, to buy any sort of uh, technology unless it's an emergency. So I'm not going to, I'm not a big fan of the model. So I said I wasn't going to invest in the stock. So I'm not sure if any of you guys did invest it in the company. And if you did, um, good for you. But um, recently I just got this news that just came out uh, that um a firm shares you can see here falls on report apple is working with goldman sachs to offer buy now pay later service so this is huge because apple is already like slowly but steadily getting into the financial space as you know you have apple pay the apple credit card they have all different uh financial tools that they're building into uh their platform so um they want you to use their services to pay for their services um, which is kind of, I mean, awesome in the sense that they're keeping everything in house. They don't want to outsource everything. I like the the, the whole uh, prospect of that. Uh, for somebody that loved the uh, Apple ecosystem, if you want to be in that space, um, good for you. The only reason I don't like the whole approach is that you have pretty much everything being run by one company. Even though behind the scenes, like in this case, they're using Goldman Sachs, but if Apple goes down, you have an issue with a lot of your services, which I don't like to bundle everything and put in on the one company. Uh, but nevertheless, it's, it was still a business, a good business model when a firm came out and went public and they were looking pretty good. But now this is not good that Apple is trying to get into um, the space. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing how this is gonna really play out because we've seen um, other reports that Apple was working to get um, an electric vehicle and that never really uh, panned out. So anticipate that a lot of these reports are going to be coming out here. But until we see it, I think this one makes the most sense in my personal opinion, uh, because Apple is already uh, working in that space. They already have a credit card. So it's easy for them to say, hey, use our credit card um, and buy whatever and then pay later. So it's easy for them to to kind of went to just go that route and start uh, providing that service again. Couple the fact that they have what they call uh, the Apple Wallet, which gives them again additional services that people would want to because it's easy. You log into your your Apple account, um, all your services are right there at your fingertip. You don't have to be connecting a bunch of third party um, you know services to get you going. So. I can I can see why this makes the most sense, but again, just be careful that um, we're getting a lot of this news out there. Remember uh, when I did a video here on Teledocs that uh, the stock actually really tumbled because um, there was a report that Amazon was working on um, uh, a, a service to kind of counter what Teledocs was doing, right? Um, telemedicine. So Amazon has a service in house, and I said. This is not looking good because if Amazon makes this thing and go public, would we'll see some some issues here. So I wasn't a big uh, a proponent of that. I said, hey, I was going to get out of uh, Teladoc and go invest my money in something else. And a lot of people, uh, people that don't even know me, um, which, I mean, you got to go check the comments on that video. People were just like, oh, you don't even know what you're doing. Oh, Teladoc is the best. I was like, dude, like that's okay. 
This is, that's my take. I am not forcing you to go sell your Teladoc shares. And ever since that happened, where's Teladocs today? Teladocs went from over two hundred dollars is now sitting at about one fifty five. And again, like I said, that's there's no news right now that Apple is um, that Amazon is going to do something. If, if they go ahead and do it, Teladocs is going to tumble even some. So that just was just my take on it. So again, if you are invested in uh, a firm, guys, this news should be very critical. So let me show you guys what happened to the, the stock after this happened. So look at the stock was actually trading up here. As you can see here today, high was about $66, almost 67. As soon as the news came out, the thing dropped from 66 or 65 down to about 55. So that's almost like a $10 drop. If you can see that today, uh, it went down 10% which is insane before kind of uh, squeezing back up again and then currency about 58 now, but this is not good news because if this really happens, uh, a firm might actually see a, a chunk of their business because if they have any customer that is uh, an Apple user that uses the Apple wallet, guess what? Those people are gone because it's so easy for them to just work within the, the Apple um, uh, ecosphere and get their business and take care of their services and pay their bills on time. So, I, I mean, I'm not invested in this stock just for transparency. I don't plan on investing in it. If anything, I'm gonna day trade it. I'm gonna short uh, the stock um, if I continue to see bad news coming out. Because if, if Apple comes out tomorrow and actually confirm this and say, we're well, moving forward, this is what we're doing, you're gonna see another maybe 10, 15% drop um, before you can find some support and bounce back. So that would be a shorting opportunity. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video, guys. Again, just a quick recap here. Affirm one of the buy now, pay later services that's out there um, is actually really getting beat up because Apple just came out with news that uh, they are working with uh, Goldman Sachs to offer a buy now, pay later services. So as you can see here, the stock actually took a uh, massive bidding. Ticket symbol for our firm is AFRM. So if you want to go check it out, definitely go check it out. Again, like I said, a firm, all they do is just going like to buy now, pay later service. That's it. So let me know what you think about this. Do you think this is just uh, nothing? Um, uh, we have these big companies that will come out and, and make this news, but nothing really materialized. Or you think that this is not good for a firm like I'm thinking. So again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks, links in the description. And as always guys, do your due diligence, don't be a greedy savage, and stay motivated.